did you start building an, a name and a brand and marketing when you just started out? Oh, well, um, I think it's the same as you see me today. I've only become more open-hearted and more vulnerable and just given basically everything away. I think this is the natural state. And by the way, I don't think it's too late. This is, it seems like the internet's really mature. It's too late for me to build a brand. Everyone else has a brand. Don't think like that. This is just the beginning. You know, only a small portion of the 7 billion people on earth are even on the internet. Only a small portion of them even consume any kind of pictures or media. And as soon as people get high bandwidth, as soon as these 7, 8 billion people on the earth, which isn't going to be too long, they're all going to have high bandwidth and they all want to consume beautiful content. So, like, we're not even, like, 5% of the way there yet. And also, there's about to be a huge format change. In five years, people are not going to be doing this on their phone. They're going to be in VR. Everything's going 360. There's no content created for that, basically. There's nothing good. Uh, so there's tremendous opportunity. New tools are coming out. Uh, so if you just kind of keep practicing your, your creative muscles, uh, anyone can build a brand doing anything. Like, we're so young in the internet time. This is just the beginning. Yeah, it feels super mature. Maybe it feels like, oh, I can never build that kind of a brand, but of course you can. Yeah, but you have to be different than everyone else. And by being different, you just have to be really open-hearted and trust in the world and create and share unabashedly, but do it without any sense of self-seriousness, right? Now, when you look around, you'll see like a lot of other very serious photographers, blah, 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 blah. It's not like that. Just be open-hearted and awesome. That's why you're here, to create. By the way, this is what I usually do at sunsets, is I just sit around and I just take a lot of photos. Um, I think some of these are gonna turn out pretty cool. If you're just arriving, by the way, you might notice I'm lower than the horizon because I, I like to see their, their heads above the tree line. I wish this had a little screen that popped out. Mm -hmm. uh, next question. Do you do, you do bracketing shots and how, how many shots at different um, right. stops might you do? So you ask about my method for HDR shooting with the camera. Well, I would say <laughs> seven, yeah. I would say, yeah, I, I, tomorrow during the workshop, by the way, I'm gonna do many photos. I'm just gonna work on them, like hardcore working on photos. I'll start out easy, then I'll do some hardcore photos, including some new ones I've taken in London this time. So I would say, to begin with, 70% of the photos I take are HDR. HDR, once I plan on HDRing. The rest I just do in Lightroom. Um, and I might run one of my Lightroom presets on them. And maybe that takes like 30 seconds and I say, that's good enough, done. So that's 30% of my photos. The other 70%, of those 70% HDR photos, 50% of the time, I take one photo. Just one raw photo, okay? Simple. Raw photos are so good nowadays and if you run it through Sweet Lady Aurora HDR, you can do anything with that raw photo. It's incredible. Um, the other 50% of my HDR shots, I do three exposures. Uh, and that is the situation like a sunset, like I love sunsets. So the sun is usually really bright. And usually there's a foreground that's quite dark. So you really have to do three exposures there. Question answered. Thank you. A week later, I got a call from the CTO of Microsoft. A new guy named Kevin, really cool guy. And he's like, you guys, he goes, hey, Trey, I'm a lifelong fan. I love HDR. Uh, the Apple people are rarely happy, you know? Uh, so they, they wouldn't tell me what's coming up next. But they said, just Trey, trust us, wait for WWDC. They said something interesting. I don't know what it means. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure that um, it's not the best format for editing photos, but I'm sure there's going to be tools for editing these photos. I, I'm not sure, but I think Adobe is working on some right now. Um, if you shoot in sunset, what kind of white colors do you put in the And if you, are you using filters? If yes, what kind of filters do you use? No, 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 don't. don't. Right, okay. <laughs> You ask if I'm shooting What's sunset, what folks? white balance do I choose and what kind of filters do I use? Well, uh, but most of the time auto is great, okay? The big time that I'll change my auto white balance is if I'm 
indoors at night and there's lots of yellow orange lights. Sometimes your whole photo comes up super yellow orange. So in that case, I'll set my white balance to incandescent. This crowd, I'm almost like tearing up a little bit. <laughs> I love London. You guys are such passionate, interested, interesting, sympathetic photographers. Uh, you're my kind of people. Um, you know, I, I certainly don't think of you guys as, as fans or anything. I honestly think of you as friends that I haven't really got the chance to know yet. So I've got to be started that process tonight. Um, you guys know I'm coming back. I'll be spending more time here. I'll see some of you guys for an extended day at the workshop tomorrow. Um, but anyway, um, I'm not really sure to end it to say I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs>